Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to Creepy Crafty Days here on my channel where I'm sharing a video every single day this month. Make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my daily videos. Today I am sharing with you guys my October daily mini kit and album. Um, I was talking with my friend Serena and she was telling me how she made a mini kit for her October daily and I was like, girl, I need to make one. I've been making like mini little stash kit things all year long. Why did I not think to make one for October daily? I do not know. Anyway, I have an album here and you guys might recognize this as my Project Life album. I've actually taken the Project Life pages out one because I'm so super behind it's ridiculous and two I really need like a thick binder like width for my October daily this year so this one is from Studio Calico it's two and a half inches this way it is a six by eight album which is perfect for me so the reason I needed such a large album as far as like the spine or whatever is because I'm actually going to be starting my October daily a little bit early in September um, my friend Serena is coming to visit me she's actually here right now while you guys are watching this so I don't know what we're doing today but I'm sure we're having fun and you guys are getting this fun video so I need needed an album that would cover not only all of October from the 1st through the 31st but also the time that she's here um, starting in September so I want all of her visit to be in here as well as all of the October stuff I have going on so yeah so that's why I needed a bigger album this year and that's partly why I chose not to do a traveler's notebook this year just because I want like an album album um, especially for her visit and some other stuff going on in October so let me show you guys what I've got going on. So like I mentioned, this is from Studio Calico. It does have a teal inside, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep this this color or paint it or put paper over it or something, I don't know. I will be using a mix of her spooky pastel colorway as well as traditional Halloween, so this might actually work out all right. But I'm gonna wait until my album is kind of in process before I make a decision about this color because um, maybe the cover page or whatever will go really nicely with this and if I paint it I might be sad that I did that so I don't know we will all we will all discover together what happens to this teal interior <laughs> um, but similar to how I did December daily I went ahead and put some pages in the album kind of prep things um, I fully expect that things in here will change shift around be moved around whatever it helps me mentally to know that I'm not starting from 100% scratch on each and every page that I have some kind of something to get me going so that helps me maybe that will help you also similar to December daily I made myself a chipboard punch guide that way I'm not having to you know use the pages as punch guides because this album does have six rings not all pages have six holes so I thought this would come in handy for me so I'm just gonna flip you guys through this album really really fast um, I'm doing a mix of pocket pages this year and open pages again that was inspired by my friend Serena's albums if you have not seen her October daily video like with all of her tips and tricks and she flips through all of her albums and stuff I highly highly suggest it I will leave her link down below for you guys but um, she had actually made me a Christmas album last year that was a mix of open pages and pocket pages and I just I loved it and I will be using that album this year for December daily so I figured October daily my album could be kind of like a test run a practice run to kind of get used to that idea because I'm not used to a mix of the pocket pages with the like full-on open pages so yeah this is a little bag I think it's really cute um, yeah, and I just backed it with some black cardstock and punched some holes. Some more pocket pages. I feel like this is very simple. Like, I really haven't done a whole lot, honestly. Um, these are just plain black cardstock pages. Some more pocket pages. This is another bag that I added some black cardstock to. And I just kind of tried to sprinkle things kind of evenly throughout. Um, but like I said, I definitely can move stuff around. It's not a big deal. So this is like an open page. And then it flips open like this. So there's lots of room to add more stuff if I want. Some more pocket pages. This is a really cute bag that Serena gave me. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just trying to go kind of quick. Um, this is like another open page and this is a belly band right here. I can make more of these, but I didn't want to like go crazy because I don't know like how I will enjoy using these kinds of pages so I just made a few but yeah so that is kind of my basic setup for October daily I don't even know how many pages are in here I have no clue but I'm sure I'll be adding and pulling and rearranging and all that 
Like I said, this is just so that like I'm not super overwhelmed right off the bat. So this will be the album that I'm using. And then I did also pull some supplies from my stash. You guys have already seen my crafty stash for creepy crafty days. So I just pulled some of those things to put into a smaller bin. That way it's all in one place for October daily. So I pulled these stickers from the Dollar Tree. Um, just a little bag of die cuts because I don't know what I'll want to use. Um, some orange jemmies. There's some washi in here. So I've got some samples that I've gotten in Happy Mail, you know, that I'd like to use up. Um, I want to use this up and then spiderweb washi is kind of a classic. So I figure that's fine. Of course, if I'm working on my October daily and I want something different, you know, I can pull from other things. This is just like for days when I'm tired or I don't want to work on it very much or I just need to get something done really quick. Then I just have like a really small selection. This washi tape is from Serena's shop. I will leave links down below to the things I can find online. This is a sticker book I got this year. Um, these are some like more stickers, alphas, these shiny stars, shiny alphas, more alphas, some puffy stickers. Um, these are more stickers. These are like kind of smaller sheets and like little cut apart bits. Um, this pumpkin is amazing. I love this so much. Um, yeah, so there's just, you know, I don't know, random assortment of things. There's some label stickers, some dimensional ones. Again, just so I have like a really quick selection to pull from and I don't have to think about it too much and I don't have to dig around so much. Um, I also have a bunch of journaling cards. I think these are actually all the journaling cards um, that you guys saw in my stash. I don't really reach for journaling cards or cut aparts or whatever for crafting all that often. Sometimes I do, like if I'm doing a flip book or something, then I will use these as like flippy bits. Um, but I figure I will use them more in my October daily. So I just put them all in here because I figured this probably where I'm going to reach for them the most. So there's a bunch of paper cakes, spooky pastel in here. I've just got a bunch of those. I think they're really cute. Same with like larger ones. So I've just got a few in here. They're all upside down, of course. I don't know why. <laughs> I think these are really, really fun. I also pulled a couple of small paper pads. So this one by Beautiful Nights is almost gone. Um, there's not very many papers left in there. So I figure I could pull that, maybe use that up. I don't know. And then this is a new one from Michaels this year and I love it so much. It's double sided so it's perfect for like an open page kind of album. And then these are some of these spooky pastel like papers I printed off. Aren't they so fun? I love these colors. And fun note, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but Serena actually kind of started the whole pastel Halloween thing like a couple years ago before it was anywhere. So if you guys can go give her some love and appreciation for the beauty that she's put out into the world, I think that would be really, really nice. I know that she would love that. Anyway, so this is my little stash for October daily. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some ideas for things that you can pull for your own little mini October daily stash. But that is about it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying creepy crafty days. Again, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you loved it. If you missed yesterday's, you can click up here. If you want to join in all the fun crafty shenanigans happening over in the crafty club this month, you can click right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I really hope you do, thank you so much in advance, you can click right here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.